have been waiting for months for the Robert Anderson Fountain to be picked up by Warren Lash Company to be transported to Charleston, South Carolina to be worked on. The Hunley Submarine, I would think, would be one of their most famous projects. They've, of course, had many, especially around the Charleston area. They are associated with Clemson University. So it's kind of a hometown company uh, doing this work for us. And restoring this fountain is going to be such a wonderful thing for Anderson County. It's going to come back in full glory again, the way it was the early 1900s when it was first put up. I am a conservator working for the Warren Lash Conservation Center out of the Clemson uh, University Restoration Institute, and we have been hired to come and deinstall this lovely fountain and conserve it. So currently it's in pretty rough shape. Anything that's iron, as anyone knows, you leave it outside long enough, it gets rusty and you have to do a certain amount of maintenance to keep up any sort of outdoor iron uh, installations. To be able to really get to all the nooks and crannies and deal with all the rust and built up corrosion from the years and then coat it extremely thoroughly with an appropriate coating system, you do need to deinstall it, bring it back to our lab in North Charleston and work on it there. We've estimated on the shorter side a year, the longer side two years. We're hoping to handle a year, but it's all about what surprises await us once we've got it deinstalled. So of course, like any historic structure, it's entirely unique. So its issues are going to be unique specifically to Hewitt. So we can't predict as easily as we would for something modern, how long it might take to treat and repair. It's got some salts forming on the surface, so we've got to try and extract those salts from some of the features. Um, one of the lovely little cherubs that sits on the base has had some damage to it and has actually lost a foot um, that was previously held in place with a little bit of epoxy. Um, that's something we're going to want to look into having welded and repaired. So there's lots of uh, different elements that make the length of a treatment time difficult to predict, but we're going to be pushing for a year and hopefully we'll have it back for Anderson County to enjoy by next summer.